guys, it's me, Marcus. Um, we are to doing a photo shoot right now, and uh, everybody's taking a little break. And uh, I haven't done this month's uh, video vlog yet, so I decided uh, I figured now would be a good time to uh, to answer some of your questions for uh, this month's video vlog. Um, so let's get right to it. First question comes from Lucas in Wasokow, Poland. Hello, Poland. Dzień dobry. That's uh, one of the only Polish words I know, but uh, Lucas is asking, what was the best thing for you when you were recording your recent world tour episode from Centennial Hall in Wrocław? That gig was very memorable for me because, um, as you guys probably noticed from the YouTube videos, the stage was very, very high, and uh, I'm afraid of heights. So, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the only gig in my whole career that I've uh, ever um, had cancel or not able to do was in Poland because uh, the stage was it was way too high and I couldn't get up there. So when I first got to the gig, uh, everybody was really concerned whether or not I would be able to climb up on the stage that high. And, and I think the best thing for me uh, during that show was the fact that I did it. I got up there on stage. Uh, for me, like I said, I'm afraid of heights, so it was really, really difficult. But uh, I was just focused on you guys in the audience and having a great time and uh, for an hour and a half uh, I stood up there and uh, overcame my fears. I tell you what, there's nothing crazier than overcoming one of your fears with 10,000 people looking up at you. Uh, next question is from Damian Murillo. Uh, he's got a technical question here about the studio. He asks, when you're recording and mixing a new track, do you run it through an analog board such as an SSL or a Neve, or do you mix straight into the box? I'm just wondering how you make your productions sound so amazing. Um, well, for me, I'm a Pro Tools guy. I mean, I make my music in Logic and Ableton, but uh, when everything is done, um, we like to import it into Pro Tools and uh, use the Pro Tools sound engine. Um, I don't know, I, for me, I, I, I just feel like uh, Pro Tools is like right at my fingertips, you know? I, and, and the thing is, the most important thing that I can recommend to anybody is monitors. If you know how a track is supposed to sound on your monitors, it doesn't matter what you run it through, um, it's going to sound right. Now, of course, having the old analog boards just gives it that extra dimension, but uh, nowadays in the digital age, with uh, when you compress everything into MP3s, a lot of the, uh, the magic that happens when you run it through those analog boards um, uh, goes away. So, uh, but uh, me personally, like I said, I run everything through Pro Tools and uh, it's kind of my studio trick. Um, Javier in the Netherlands, he says, uh, he asks, because you play so many gigs throughout the year, what precautions do you take to prevent long-term ear damage? Do you use earplugs? And if so, do you have them custom made? Do you have beeps or any other malfunctions after spitting for so many years? Uh, I have custom earplugs. Um, I wear them whenever I go to the, uh, to the club. Um, however, when I get up uh, in the DJ booth or on stage, I take them out because I find that when I have the plugs in, um, I actually leave the monitors louder than if I don't have them in at all. Um, when you, if you keep your headphones on um, when you have the monitors up, uh, that also helps. But uh, you just have to uh, make, be conscious of the fact that you're in loud music all the time. And uh, yes, yeah, sometimes uh, my ears do ring. And uh, when that happens, I try to rest my ears for a couple of days. Um, you know, and sometimes it's not very easy to do, but uh, uh, that's one of the sacrifices uh, of this job is uh, your hearing. Um, Leon in Toronto, Leon's a regular with these questions here. Uh, Leon in Toronto asks, uh, which type of worldwide cuisine is your favorite and what is your favorite drink? Do you try any new? Did you try any new food during your Asian tour? Well, sushi is my favorite uh, type of uh, food, and my favorite drink is uh, the uh, uh, vitamin water, the uh, energy one. It's, uh, it has vitamin B in it. That's uh, one of my favorite drinks. Um, and as far as on my Asian tour, I tried some really crazy sushi uh, on the Asian tour in, in Japan uh, and also in, in China. There's some uh, sushi that. Uh, I've never seen before and I tried it. Some of it was good, some of it was not so good. So, uh, and uh, let's go to the next question. James in Brisbane, Australia. He asks, will you be 
Um, your, will your amazing remix of the Bell on Block theme, Dressed in White, be released in the near future? Um, yes, we've secured the rights to, uh, to my remix for Cold Harbor, um, so that will be out later on in the year. And finally, um, can you tell us a little something about this year's Cold Harbor Day, Tuesday, July 28th? Um, yeah, um, every year, um, right around uh, July, we do Cold Harbor Day, which is uh, a where we reach a milestone uh, for the label. And this year on Cold Harbor Day, we reach uh, release number 75. And uh, this year, uh, on Cold Harbor Day, we're releasing a new Dakota track. Um, and then also, the same day, I'm going to be releasing uh, a new Marcus Schultz track. Um, yeah, as long as we get it finished in time. Uh, and then also, I'll be doing an exclusive uh, extended set on After Hours FM. So that's all happening with the, uh, July 28th. So that's it. Uh, everybody's starting to come back. Um, lunch is over. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video vlog. Take care, guys.